It may be a very basic question if you're at all involved with the software world, but let's ask the question out loud, what is open source software? If you're new to this world, it may seem a strange concept to you. Software is written in human readable form. We call that the source code. It's using some computer language that a programmer can type, and then that source code is converted into a binary form that's ones and zeros and, and impossible for us to read and interpret but for a computer that's what it requires. That object code form or compiled form is what is run in the computer. Sometimes there's an intermediary step so that it stays in a source code format and there's something called an interpreter that in real time reads the human readable form and performs the software's functions. That's really how the internet operates, how the web operates. We write something in HTML code and that stays in that readable form and then a browser interprets that on the fly and renders the web pages. That's really an issue of source code being rendered by an intermediary, the browser program. But the same concept applies. There's source code form that's readable and there's object code form that's executed by the computer. In most commercial software businesses, only the object code form of the software is provided to the customer. Why is this? Well, the reason is pretty simple. We, we, although you know what the software accomplishes, you understand what its functions are. Without seeing the source code, we don't really understand how it accomplishes those functions. And the how is a trade secret for the developer of the software. That is their secret sauce. It's what differentiates their software from their competitor's software. And ordinarily, we don't provide the source code form in a commercial software licensing situation. Open source software is simply software where the developer intends to make the source code available. That's the model. We make the source code available, and that does ordinarily do away with trade secret protection. That's true, but many times that's not the concern of the developer, and so they make the source code available. Let's be clear, though. Open source software is not software that is cost-free. That's not what it means. Oftentimes, open source software is provided without cost. There is a wealth of open source software available for free, but it doesn't mean that, that it can be for charge or, or not. Open source software does not mean that there's no copyright attached to the software. In fact, quite the contrary. Most of the very uh, well-known open source software licenses, like the general public license, rely upon copyright law in order to keep their software open and, and free to use. And so it does not mean that copyright doesn't still attach. At its very basic level, open source software simply means that the developer, that the owner of the software's copyright, the owner of the software, intends to make it available in open source form. And then the user of the software may receive it in object code form or may compile it and operate it at that point. That's another issue. It simply means it's provided in open source form.